This episode is brought to you by Snap Accounting and Snap Payroll. This is a cloud-based tool to help you automate and improve your accounting and payroll processes. Hey guys, welcome to the podcast. Today I am again with my co-host Dennis Hilario and today he will be talking about KPI and performance review. So let's get right to it. Welcome to the Digital Transformation Academy. My name is Dennis Hilario and I'm here to help you in your digital transformation journey. Let the show begin. Hello, good morning. So today is Friday, August uh, 13. And it's been a while since our last post. Yeah. Because, yeah, you know, we've been busy with a lot of things plus the ECQ and, uh, you know, COVID-19 uh, hassles. Madness. Yeah. <laughs> How are you, Fiona? How was your uh, third lockdown uh, experience? Yeah. Um, what day is it now? Friday. I've just been since there's... Since I'm at home, I'm more busy with the chores and everything, mm-hmm. just trying to fill my day. But okay. yeah, season three. Uh, do you know? Do you know how to? Do you know how to cook now? Your own I know meal? how to cook, and I've been cooking. What have you and been cooking? It's pretty good. Yesterday I cooked um, garlic chicken, wow. and the family loved it. Wow! Nice. Yeah. Well, in my case, you know, as you know, I've been uh, into music lately, so I've been experimenting with a lot of uh, stuff. I know. Check out his covers. <laughs> and your covers. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, let's get, uh, let's dive right to the topic. Um, let's talk about the mm-hmm. KPI. Uh, what's the value of KPIs and why are we doing that? Uh, and then we talk about performance reviews. Basically, performance review is the measurement and the... Uh, uh, review of the KPIs that you have set, no? Yon, so setting your team's KPI and uh, yung consistent performance reviews, ito commonly uh, na overlook, especially na mga small businesses, no? But I strongly yeah. feel that uh, we should include this as part of the system, you know, in delivering your company's uh, goals, no? Or company's mission. So without it kasi, it's going to be very expensive. Mm-hmm. Why? Because you're going to have a lot of uh, employee turnovers. Uh, yung productivity and efficiency of the employees are uh, very low. No, So yes. at the same time, well, in effect, uh, you're going to have overhead expenses and probably customer complaints. No, So it's no different with setting your own milestones in life. Diba? So like in, in our case... Uh, especially the younger ones, diba? we set a certain goal. Ano ba yung gusto kong ma-achieve this year? Mm-hmm. Ano ba yung highlights of my day? So, based on that, um, yun yung parang measurement natin if we su- we were successful in yeah. our goals uh, or not. So, KPI stands for Key Performance Indicators. So, these are indicators in business and also in the, the employee to measure the performance. A very simple example is like the company's KPI is to reach 50% growth by this year. Mm-hmm. So which is in terms of revenue. So that's one KPI. So ibig sabihin, uh, kung ang revenue ko last year is 10 million. So if my target is 50% growth, so roughly about uh, 15 million ang target ko for this year. Diba? So mm-hmm. at the end of the quarter or you know on a periodical basis, you will have to review that if uh, you achieve that growth or not. So if not, then let's talk about how can we uh, tweak the processes and uh, people if uh, para ma achieve yung goal. You know? So similar yeah. to employees, if if the company sets a KPI of that, what would be the KPI? You have to like uh, spread it out to your employees. Mm-hmm. to the individual employees, what would be their participation to achieve the top-line goal, which is uh, like 50% uh, growth revenue. Diba? So, like for example, in sales, they have to achieve these certain KPIs. In uh, the operations, they have to achieve these certain uh, delivery KPIs and, and uh, whatnot. You know? I have a question. Yeah, sure. 
mid. So this is more of the things that you guys want to achieve. Do you also assess the? Is it part uh, assessing where you are right now? Is that part of? KPI? Yeah, it's actually the. It's actually part of the topic, which is the performance reviews. No? Okay. So it applies not only in the, for the employees, but also in the business in general. Well, it depends on the scale or the size of the company. Some companies, especially the, the startups or small businesses, they have to do it on a monthly basis. Mm. Especially if they are struggling in cash flow, they have to review on a periodic basis. Now, bigger companies, they do it on a quarterly basis. Yeah. So they assess what, what, was, what happened last quarter and what can we do uh, to improve next quarter. Mm-hmm. Actually, in our case, uh, we do it on a quarterly basis. No? Yeah, so another factor kasi that you can uh, probably look at is that uh, if you don't set a KPI and if you don't do the performance reviews, no? It's gonna be very expensive because she, mm. so most of the time, uh, if the employee, for example, is not performing and we don't know yeah. that, diba? So we are paying him something uh, without knowing na wala naman siyang productivity, no? So mm. that's the disadvantage if we don't set uh, or we don't measure the performance of the employee, you know, in the company in general, no? So I'm gonna be discussing like a simple guide or questions to define your KPIs no? for your business and also for your employees. No? Mm-hmm. Number one, what is your desired outcome? So if you're a startup, syempre, uh, ang, ang desire mo is a certain revenue revenue goal. No? If you are like an established company, probably revenue growth as discussed, o kaya naman uh, lesser expenses. So... Mm-hmm. Growth naman yun in terms of your profit. Another desired uh, outcome is uh, employee satisfaction. Kasi some, like, especially sa HR, one of their jobs is uh, to measure the satisfaction of the employees. So one okay. KPI there is uh, yung turnover rate. Gano'n ba kadalas mag-resign yung mga empleyado? No? Yeah. So kung madalas siya, kung mataas ang turnover rate mo, it means na employees are not satisfied uh, in your organization. Yun. So another question is, why does this outcome matter? Bakit nagmamatter itong outcome na to? Yeah, because, mm-hmm. well, it all boils down most of the time sa profit. Eh. Yeah. So yung nag-profit ba yung company? O kaya naman, it matters because yung customers, yung customer complaints are growing. no? Mm-hmm. So it matters because we want to make our customers happy. So that's one of the reasons why uh, you would want to set this outcome. And then another another question before in setting your KPIs is that how are you going to measure the progress? Yeah. Like in question mo, is it monthly, quarterly, etc.? What is like an objective measurement or number to know kung nasatisfy ba yung customer mo or nasatisfy ba yung employee? Mm-hmm. Uh, for example, sa customer... Uh, yung iba ginagawa, may tinatawag na CSAT or Customer Satisfaction Survey, if they're happy or not. Diba? Sometimes you encounter that sa mga restaurants, no? Yeah, the one with the smiley face. Yes, uh, face. kasi they consolidate it so that the management would know mm, if, okay. you know, if happy ba yung mga customers, no? Mm-hmm. Yung iba naman nagbibigay ng freebie if uh, the customer, uh, ano, no, nag-fill out ng response uh, form, no? So, yun yung uh, mga ways to measure the progress. For example, in our case, yung mga developers, uh, they are measured based on their co- the quality of their work and the timeliness yeah. of their work. You know? So, yung quality is that uh, yung, yung dineliver nilang task, uh, pag konti lang yung error, so magkataas yung quality ng work nila. Uh, mm-hmm. But there are ways to do it technically. No? Iba naman is... Um, yung may sinat silang commitment date ng delivery, pero they fail to... Uh, deliver that. You know. So our HR okay. team are the ones uh, plotting if they were able to do that on time or meron bang mga backlogs or mga balik na trabaho uh, sa team. You know. Another question is that um, who is responsible for the business outcome? So you have to set, di ba, yung an organization, they have like different roles and responsibilities. No? I, I, for me, ang tamang term dapat dyan is accountability. Okay. Say accountability, meron kasing responsible ka dyan, uh, yung ang mindset ng iba is they are not accountable. Mm. 
Mm-mm. So meaning if they they fail to reach the KPI of this function, then they are not accountable for it, diba? Yun yung mindset kal- karamihan, especially mga employees, no? Yeah. Now, if you are an employee with a person with integrity, it has you have to have that um, accountability na if this fails, wala tayong ibang ituturo kundi ikaw. Diba? So, I think for me especially this pandemic i was i was able to like prove that uh, you know you have to hire people talaga with i don't know with a sense of accountability kasi if not mm. um they'll be like a pain in the ass uh, organization you know? yeah so another question is how will you know if you have achieved the outcome so we've discussed that earlier you no know? uh, again measurement and uh, plotting these things para malaman natin kung na-achieve natin yung outcome. And how often will you review the progress towards the outcome? Mm-hmm. Again, yung frequency is that it depends on the situation, the stability of the company. Of course, if you're not stable, you have to do it regularly and mas periodically. Yeah. No? Ngayon, if you have like enough cash flow na kahit na mag-fail ka uh, two months, three months, and you'll still be surviving, then uh, it's okay na to do it on a quarterly or on a on a yearly basis, no? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, basically, that's the concept of the uh, KPI. Of course, if you set that, um, there are several st- uh, no, strategies, no, in setting it up uh, in terms of aligning with your employees, no? Some people, or sorry, some organizations, they ask the employee to set their KPIs and then uh, discuss, it, they, they discuss it to the management and they agree on the KPIs, uh, they, like they negotiate uh, dun sa measurement indicators uh, ng company. Maganda kasi if the, the employee are the ones uh, setting it initially, Mm-mm. so they really know what they're doing. No? Another style is that the management's parang it's like top to bottom and bottom up. Diba? Yeah. Pag top to bottom, top down, sabihin, the top management will set it and then it's going to be cascaded sa up to the rank and file no mm-hmm. now if bottom up then the ano the employees will be the ones to set it and then uh consolidated to the top no yeah similar to budgeting you know yung mga budgeting techniques kasi when you set your revenue and the expense budgets ganun din may top okay. down may bottom up yeah, of course. So, if if say for example, top down approach ang gagawin mo, uh, it it has to be clearly communicated to the employees, no. Mm-mm. So meaning, it has to be explained to them why uh, we we are setting this KPI. Because if not, then they won't have that kind of appreciation of that KPI, no. Yung yeah. iba, well, ideally, you uh, you ask them to sign on a form that they understood the KPIs and uh, they'll help out in uh, achieving these KPIs. No? That's it about KPIs. So the next topic naman is about performance review. No? So once you set yeah. your KPIs, then we talk about the performance review. So performance review, uh, like, in our, like, like I said kanina, it can be quarterly, it can be semi-annually, but most of the time mm-hmm. they, uh, organizations do it quarterly for employees, no? If you are a new employee, um, there's what you call probationary period. No, it depends. Uh, normally, the standard is six months, but on the third month, the employee is being re- uh, should be reviewed. Because uh, don palang sa third month, pag uh, hindi siya hindi niya namimit yung KPIs niya, the, you know the employers can uh, end the probationary period. But if not, then on the fifth month, dapat meron ng decision, ano, parang decision if the employee is going to stay as a regular employee or or not. Ano. And then after yeah. that, in subsequent reviews on a quarterly basis is based on a KPI. Okay, So there's what you call the objective uh, portion, meaning yung sinasabi nating plotting of quality, timeliness, uh, productivity, yun yung sinasabi nating objective part of the KP of the performance review. Normally, it's mm-hmm. about 70%. It's so mm-hmm. 70% of the total performance. And then after that, meron ding self-evaluation. 
So there are certain subjective, parang irate mo yung sarili mo in terms of your productivity. Yeah. yeah in terms of uh, what you call this, parang accountability, uh, integrity, etc. So ter- yun naman yung subjective part, normally about 30%. of the total performance review. So, meron mm-hmm. kang self-evaluation and then meron ka naman supervisor evaluation. Yung iba naman okay. meron pang peer evaluation. Yung iba may customer evaluation. So, yun, medyo complicated na. Uh, but in our case, to simplify, may, meron kaming self-evaluation and then meron kang supervisor evaluation. So, yes. at the bottom part of the performance review is that the coaching part, you know? So meaning oh, you, you have, do coaching. Yeah, okay. the the supervisor and or the HR manager should be the one should be explaining it to the employee. So these are this is your performance. Um what can we do to improve this further? Ano ba yung or ano ba yung mga complaints mo, etc. So that the employee feels na you know they ano tinutulungan siya ng organization to perform better you know again the objective okay. of the employee employee ano, performance review is not necessarily terminating the person you know it's more of discussing to him or her uh, what can we do to improve the performance for the next quarter mm-hmm. and then after that say set incentives uh, pag na reach mo tong growth mo ng performance mo Uh, we can give you this and that. We can extend your vacation leave. We can give you rewards, commissions, etc. So those things uh, discuss. Kasi dun magbe-base naman yung uh, yung sinas- pinag-uusapan natin kanina na employee staff sa- team satisfaction. Mm-hmm. So yung mga programs na yun na, na ginagawa yun uh, based on the performance and KPIs of the organization and the, and the employees. No? So okay. again, Like I said kanina, at, at, the, at the very beginning, no, a lot of small businesses are like taking this for granted. Mm-hmm. Meaning they don't do coaching, they don't do performance reviews and whatnot. Parang pag nakita nilang, ano, pag, if they just feel that the employee is not performing, they just terminate it without any due process. Kasi may due process din yan in terms of termination. Eh. Yeah. But it's, it's gonna be another topic, ano. Yeah, but uh, I think the point here is that the KPIs and employee reviews um, is equivalent to a certain uh, a big impact to your organization. Mm-hmm. Now, if you take this for granted, it's going to be uh, very expensive for the business. Okay. Diba? Especially kung mataas ang turnover rate mo, imagine magre-resign yung tao, you'll, meron ka na namang effort and cost in recruitment, Then may effort and cost ka sa training, uh, may customer complaints pag may employee turnover. So, so those things, malaki yung effect if you don't do that. Ano. Mm-hmm. I have a question. Yeah, go. Um, where does the line draw between reviewing their performance um, and also micromanaging, if ever that is possible, if um, you do it too much? Well, to be honest with you, I don't really... I, I I don't agree with micromanaging. Mm. Yeah, because um, number one is uh, you're just telling the employee that uh, I don't trust you. Yeah, yeah. Diba? Second is that, uh, you know, if you do micromanage, like for as a su- supervisor, it's going to be uh, very, you know, uh, time-consuming as well. You know? mm-hmm. So if you're doing micromanaging, why, why not you do it yourself? Yeah. Okay. So what what's you, the limit in performance review? Yeah, because I think what you're saying is that performance review because it's done monthly or quarterly, di ba? Uh, mm-hmm. by, in general. Is just sabi mo kasi, pag, pag micromanaging is like you're, perf- you're reviewing the performance on a daily basis. Okay. Di ba? Yun yung, which is very tasky, very time-consuming if you're gonna do that on a daily basis. No? Yeah. Hindi lang siya formal... Uh, performance review, pero the the act of asking him or her if you're gonna deliver today is that performance review on a daily basis, diba? Which is okay, yeah. It doesn't make sense na if you're doing that, ano? And I don't think um, it's gonna be sustainable sa business if you are micromanaging a person. 
Mm-hmm. You know, subs- and, 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 and vice versa. If the employee is being micromanaged, especially on a daily basis, They're it's going to be, be moral ano, uh, yeah. issues there. No? Kasi hindi, ano ba, hindi walang tiwala sa akin yung Uh, yung supervisor ko, no? Hadali, mm-hmm. there's another broad topic. It's more of task management, delegation, okay. uh, et cetera. No? So, Hadali, in our team, uh, in our case, we have a process naman for that. Probably we can talk about that late uh, in the next topic. We call it... Okay. So, develop, so software development kasi mayroon mga sprints, no? Mm-hmm. May tinatawag na daily huddle. Daily huddle is like, like not really... D- micromanaging but uh, asking if there are roadblocks ba during yeah. the I mean roadblocks etc no? so in our case we do it on a weekly basis then the sprints what you call sprints uh, miles, parang milestones yun every two weeks naman okay. something like that ano? okay. pero uh, may, ano, my take on it is that if you're a supervisor give your employee or subordinates the autonomy to do the tasks Uh, on their own and then just measure them them at the end of a period mm. uh, because if not then it's going to be moral damaging sa employee yeah. if every day is tinatanong ka ano ba nangyari dito diba? any other question? Mm, that's it okay so that is it for now so thank you so much for that by the way this episode it's brought to you by Snap Accounting and Snap Payroll this is a cloud-based tool to help you automate and improve your accounting and payroll processes also there's going to be free links down below so it's uh, KPI and performance review templates that you guys can use and yeah yeah by the way speaking of uh, Snap Accounting and Snap Payroll no? Very soon, we're going to be launching a new version of Snap Accounting because for mm-hmm. the longest time, we have the Snap Accounting. Lang eh. It's yeah. a self-service accounting. It's, it's free. No? Then we're going to have this uh, Snap Payroll. Naman. It's going to be integrated together. So watch out for that. And uh, I think in our next podcast episode, not, not next, but um, in the coming podcast mm-hmm. episode, we're going to be discussing details about it like, How to how to create your own free accounting uh, accounting uh, okay. tool? How to create your payroll? Like how to prepare checks? Uh, how to automate your check preparation? How to automate your payables preparation? How to automate your timekeeping? So those things uh, we're gonna be discussing later uh, using that tool as well. So it's, I'm very excited for that. Nice. I'm just waiting for the next. Uh, iteration of the mm-hmm. solution. It's it's up and running now, being used by several companies already. But uh, the, the free version, I would really lo- love to share it with you, uh, especially for the small businesses who cannot afford yet, especially in this mm. uh, pandemic. You know, it's going yeah. to be free. The, the the instructional videos are gonna be free as well. Free, free, free. So watch out for that. You know. So that is it for now, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. If it's your first time here, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. Yeah, and if you like want to see more content, um, yeah, we'll have more in the next few weeks. So yeah, thank All you, guys. Right. Thank you. Dex, your life and business. Have a great day.